hi hello how are you hope you all are doing well um, today uh, let's talk about QS in uh, Palo Alto so basically uh, in Palo Alto there are three components uh, for QS uh, they are like QS policy QS profile and QS egress interface as you can uh, as you can see from this uh, diagrammatic representation that when the traffic arrives it, it is in an unclassified state when it uh, hits the firewall basically qs policy comes into the picture and qs policy it identifies the traffic and ultimately it associates it with the specific class once the traffic has been associated with specific class it goes into the egress into the uh, uh, firewall wherein uh, it uh, uh, it, it uh, gets uh, triggered by qos profile and qos profile it basically prioritizes and limits the traffic according to the its qos class and in the end we apply this qs uh, profile to the qs egress interface uh, next uh, like couple of firewalls on how they support qs like a uh, smaller one 220 model it supports uh, eight interfaces and uh, maximum number of ports that they support is eight and 5220 it supports uh, total 12 uh, ports uh, then a uh, little bit about qs uh, policy so basically uh, what qs policy it does is uh, it uh, when the firewall uh, hits the uh, traffic it gives them a qs treatment and assigns them to a particular QS class. We can create a QS policy based on application, application groups, source zone, source address, source user, destination zone, destination address, service, service groups, URL categories, DHCP and TOS values. Next is uh, QS profile so basically QS profile uh, defines the value up to eight QS classes within a one single uh, profile so what basically QS profile does is it does a priority queuing and bandwidth management for QS classes and it defines the combined bandwidth allocated for all eight classes you know uh, and then uh, in QS priority queuing, basically uh, there are four priorities like real time, high, medium, low. Packets in the outgoing traffic are queued based on the priority. Real time take precedence and goes to head of the queue as it is mainly used for uh, voice and video. QS bandwidth management, it allows you to control the flow on the network to ensure the traffic doesn't exceed the capacity. We can allocate bandwidth for certain types of application. Then uh, we can use a QS policy rule to set the bandwidth for individual QS classes. Then this QS profiles are basically attached to physical interface overall bandwidth limit for the profile can be applied to all clear text uh, traffic specific clear text traffic tunnel traffic and individual uh, interfaces so <clears throat> basically we can uh, use this uh, qs profile to allow um, uh, you know uh, that can be applied uh, to for clear text traffic tunnel traffic and individual tunnel interfaces also we can apply that 
then about QS bandwidth setting on uh, bandwidth setting part uh, we can set uh, egress guaranteed ban bandwidth uh, which is the one that we can assign to a specific class wherein it can get that much guaranteed bandwidth secondly we can assign a egress max bandwidth which is a total uh, max interface uh, bandwidth we have for that particular interface uh, we need to make sure that uh, this value uh, is uh, determined correctly as uh, when this uh, value starts uh, reaching firewall will start uh, dropping the packets so uh, about the qs egress interface basically we need to uh, apply this qs profile on the egress uh, interface and uh, uh, main point to remember here is uh, for the traffic that uh, users behind the sitting behind the firewall that they are downloading we need to apply qos on uh, inside uh, you know inside or trust side of the firewall and for the traffic that user is uploading that uh, for that uh, QS profile we need to apply on egress that is outside interface of the Palo Alto firewall in this way uh, we can limit uh, download and upload traffic again I'll repeat for the traffic in uh, uh, for the traffic to control in uh, download uh, we need to apply QS on inside interface of the firewall for controlling the upload traffic we need to apply qs on external interface of palo alto firewall so this is all about a little bit theory of qs on palo alto firewall um, uh, in the next uh, we will see uh, in practical how this can be done thanks for now Bye.